I know all about OPSEC, so I'm not gonna be blowing anybody out. Find a discreet way to get a hold of me, and Colonel, you're getting a POB today. Boy, the world sure seems to be going through a spat of bad news, doesn't it? Russia, Ukraine, the president's going downhill and not even falling upstairs anymore, just tripping over nothing in front of a whole bunch of airmen that he's leading as the commander in chief. But not everything is gonna be all bad. In fact, we're here to celebrate one driven Marine who single-handedly investigated and busted a human trafficking ring. Dope, people, violent gang MS-13. This story's got it all. Our story starts in Alexandria, Virginia. That, it's DC, it's right across the river from DC. Human trafficking, hookers blow in Washington DC, the capital, where all the politicians are? Color me surprised. Anyway, Alexandria, Virginia, where a group of reserve Marines are training on their drill weekend. In fact, the next morning, it's gonna be a PT test, and boy, you know you need your shut-eye for that. Everybody's stressing out, and the fatties are biting their nails, worried about the run, but not one, dare I say, handsome lieutenant colonel. Now, they, his name is out of this because there's an ongoing investigation, so he's, we're just gonna call him Colonel. Ra. Well, he's walking around the hotel, about to get into his room, get some shut eye, get ready for that PT test, and he sees a young lady with 13 tattooed on her, wearing white and blue. Most people would go and pass by some random people in the hotel and not give two shits whether or not they're a man, a woman, something in between, or they've got tattoos on their face. But this Lieutenant Colonel happens to be uh, involved in law enforcement in his civilian career and still wants to serve his country in the Marine Corps, so he's in the reserves. But he sees the tattoo of 13 and the white and blue and goes, well, that's a trademark for the violent gang MS-13. He starts paying a little bit more attention while keeping his cool and not trying to blow up his spot. And notice that she's pacing and walking around, that there's also a dude outside just circling around on a bicycle, and it clicks. This young lady's being human trafficked. They're about to move to another location. Now here comes the moral conundrum. On a larger scale in this scenario that everybody seems to be having nowadays, do I do something or do I just say, uh, eh, it's none of my business. Well, good people like to do something. And that's what this Marine did. He did a stakeout. He used to say, he's just walking around, just making sure everything's cool. And the second that a Van comes to pick up the young female with the MS-13 tattoos and garb on along with her handler. He quickly runs over to his POV, jumps in it, and follows them. Now he probably doesn't go bumper to bumper and make it super obvious making every turn with them. But I'm sure he used some fantastic law enforcement skills and driving methods in order to not be spotted as a tail. Driving a little ways away, they come to a fairly ritzy condominium and things are off. If you got a bunch of money, you're probably not wearing dirty clothes and shitty shoes looking like a rag doll and then going into your million dollar condominium. Colonel pulls out his phone, calls up some local law enforcement and says, hey listen, I'm Popo too. And what I've noticed here is some human trafficking red flags. So if you could just check and make sure this young lady is okay, a health and welfare check, I could just go back to doing my PT test and I know you'll probably laugh at me, but whatever, I'll take the chance. Boy, we're glad that you did there, Colonel. Because local law enforcement, and I'm assuming probably some task forces involved in human trafficking. I know Homeland Security does it. I know the FBI is involved in that too. But regardless, law enforcement agencies along with this Lieutenant Colonel go to the building, condominium, knock on the door. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Oh my God, look at all the drugs and guns and several women here that are obviously being trafficked. Lock them up! Despite what the movies show you, it's, it takes a lot longer than like three minutes of just looking around at the obvious drugs on the top of a table and go, oh look, we've got the kilo of coke. We're out of here, boys. There are hours of properly searching every room and gritting it out and then notating all the evidence and then paperwork and interviews and now trying to identify these women and then figuring out a safe place that they can be held so that the investigation can continue, and it is. This colonel hit the tippity tip 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 of the spear in this investigation, and I'm sure it's going deeper and into darker spots. And that's why this colonel's name has not been released to the public, but he has received an award already. 
a Naval Commendation Medal. That's right. He got the equivalent to an Army Commendation Medal, a Navy and Marine Commendation Medal, which is, well, that's one heck of an attaboy, let me tell you what. And well-deserved. How often have Marines or Army personnel been stuck in some boring PowerPoint class saying, look out for human trafficking, and just blow through it because they know they're never gonna run into it? Well, if you keep your eyes open long enough, eventually you'll see something. And this goes to show you, not all the PowerPoint classes we get are bullshit. Not all of them. Some of them aren't bullshit. I'll meet you halfway. I know all about OPSEC, so I'm not gonna be blowing anybody out. Under, throwing them under the bus, too. I'm law enforcement as well. Find a discreet way to get a hold of me, and Colonel, you're getting a POB today. Because of your fantastic actions in busting open an MS-13 drug and human trafficking hub in the DC area, I award you the coveted POB. Good job. Good job. Good job. If you know somebody that's done some fantastic thing that deserves recognition, send me them stories. The internet isn't all bitching about politics and negativity. Sometimes we can hold up the fantastic veterans and military members so the rest of the world can see how great we are. And if you know somebody that deserves the coveted POB award, go ahead and check out the site angry-cops.com. Get them a sticker or a shirt. Let them know that they did a good job and award them with POB. See you next time, weirdos. Oh, and when's the last time you shared a video, a gif, or a meme with a battle buddy? Huh? How about you get on that? Share it with a battle buddy. Oh, to celebrate one. Come. Come. One come. We're here to celebrate one come. Fuck. I know that's going at the end.